Now, police in Australia are investigating suspicious packages sent to embassies and consulates in Canberra and Melbourne. Uh, several sites have been evacuated and the packages are being examined by emergency services. Uh, well, we're going to talk a little bit more about this with Alistair Sanford, who joins us now in the studio. Uh, morning to Alistair. Morning, Belle. Just tell us what we know so far, how, how worried people in Australia should be. Well, the federal police have got involved. They say that several suspicious packages have been delivered to embassies and consulates in Canberra and Melbourne. They're being examined. Uh, the circumstances investigated, but there's no word on what the substance is or whether it's dangerous. Now, not much is known about the sites in Canberra. Most of the details we have concern Melbourne, uh, and there are plenty of pictures and eyewitnesses' accounts of uh, emergency services being sent to several sites around the city. Uh, and on the government's own website, that confirms that at several locations there have been hazardous material alerts. Now, we don't know whether these are substantiated or not. We've got confirmation from the British and American consulates that they have been affected. Australian media are saying that uh, there are perhaps um, 10 or more uh, that uh, have been affected by this and several European missions among them. Uh, the Swiss, the German, French, Italian, Spanish and Greek missions are all said to have been affected, but as I say, we don't have confirmation of those. We've spoken to the British authorities uh, in Sydney and Canberra and they've confirmed the scare in Melbourne, but they say the staff are safe, uh, that the consulate was not evacuated and the package was intercepted. Uh, Reuters also say the American consulate uh, confirmed a package was received. In both cases, the procedures, they say, worked. Now, a few days ago, uh, the Argentine consulate in Sydney uh, received a suspicious package. It's not known whether that is linked to this, but afterwards, New South Wales police said the substance that was found was not found to be dangerous.